Well, hello, and welcome to our next handwriting lesson. This will be handwriting lesson number two. Today we're going to practice three letters. Now, I know that sounds like a lot, but you're going to see that once you're able to make your circles in the right direction, these letters are going to be easy breezy. Right, the first letter we're going to do is going to be the letter O. O is just like the circles we were practicing yesterday. So I just want to point out and remind you that we're going to pay attention to the top line, the bottom line, and the dashed lines or the middle line. We'll make one capital O and then we're going to practice our lowercase o's. So the letter O starts at the top line, capital O starts at the top line, goes around, touches the bottom line, comes back up to the top. This is just like the circles we were making yesterday. Goes around to the left. So let's do another one. Put your pencil, your dry erase marker at the top, around to the left, back up, capital O. O, capital O. Now in first grade, what you'll realize is that we don't use capital letters all that often. We use them when we start a sentence. The first letter of every sentence will be a capital letter. You're gonna use them at the first letter of your name and for a bunch of special other words that we will learn. But overall, in first grade, you're gonna switch and use lowercase letters for almost everything you write. So let's practice our lowercase o's for the rest of this row. Lowercase o starts at the dotted line, right here in the middle. It will touch the bottom line and go back up. Say the letter o. O, remember to go around this way. Let's make another lowercase o. Around, up, o. Start at the dotted line around, back up, O. Say the letter O. Draw it, O. Draw it, O. O. Finish the row with lowercase O's. O, O, O. All right. The next letter we're gonna do is the letter C. We'll make a couple of capital C's and then we'll use the rest of the row to do our lowercase c's. Now, the amazing thing about writing the letter C is that it's just like an O, but you only gotta do half of the O. So we're gonna start exactly like we would start with the letter O. We're gonna start here up at the top. We're gonna go around in the same direction that we do with the letter O. And, but then we're gonna just stop without completing our circle. So start at the top, down just like you're gonna make an O, but don't finish your circle. That's the letter C. Look up here, it's kind of like if you just didn't have this part of your O, right? But we're gonna still um, but we'll start it, it's just going to be the same exact pen strokes. So it, that's why you're going to see making our circle in that direction is going to be the same stroke that your hand and your brain have to learn. So let's do another capital C. You're going to start here at the top. And you're going to come around. And just like you're going to make an O, you can see it in your brain, but don't, just stop. Okay. With the, with the C, you'll, you'll see you might wanna start it just a little tiny bit over than you did before. Um, you know, some of you might be starting here and, and coming here and it's a little, maybe a little short. So it just depends on if you wanna make those pieces a little bit longer. All right, let's practice some lowercase c's. Same thing, we're gonna start right here at our dotted line. We're gonna go 
around like you're gonna make a zero, an O, except you're gonna stop and don't connect it back. Start at the dotted line. Don't connect it. C. Let's finish the row with lowercase c. We'll draw it and say the name of the letter. C. 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 Okay. The last letter that we're going to make today is going to be going in the same direction, same pen stroke with your hand. It's the letter S. The letter S gets a little tricky at the bottom because we're gonna change direction, but you're gonna see it's gonna make a lot of sense. So we're gonna be up here with our letter S and we're gonna start just like we started with the C's and the, the O. You're gonna start up here and go around like you're going around in your circle. And you're going to get to about the dotted line. Once you get to the dotted line, you're going to come across and now change direction. So let's practice a lot of those uppercase S's. You're going to start at the top. We're going in the same direction. It gets a little tricky here because we're we're wrapping around. It's almost like we're making our lowercase c up here at this half, and then we're making our s curve back. So let's try that one again. Around to the dotted line, then switch directions. Good, let's try that one again. Start at the top, around to the dotted line. Don't go past the dotted line. Come across. Switch direction. Let's do that one again. Start at the top, around to the dotted line. Don't go past the dotted line. Start heading over here, switch direction. Good. Let's do another capital S. Around to the dotted line. Back to, good. Let's do it again. Around and back. Nice. Take your time with your S's. That can be a little tricky. Around and back. S. Let's say that together. S. Around and back. S. Let's do one more capital S. Around and back. Excellent. All right. Um, the lowercase s is exactly the same as a capital S, except because it's a lowercase letter, we're going to make sure we put it between the dotted line and the bottom line. Our lowercase letters sit in this space down here is where most of our lowercase letters sit. So let's get our S's and we're going to put them down here between the dotted line and the bottom line. So that means we're starting at the dotted line around and back. There's no you're going to go about halfway if you can imagine another little dotted line in between here 
you would use that in your brain to decide where to turn back. So you put your pen on the dotted line, around and back. Good. Around and back. All right. Finish this row with your lowercase s's. Making sure you go around this way and then back. Around and back. Don't pick your pen up. Just finish your s's. Around and back. Around and back. Good. All right. So that's the three letters that we're learning for handwriting lesson number two. The O, C, and S. Keep practicing at home and I'll see you for our next handwriting lesson.